morning. Welcome to Story Alive. So glad you joined us today. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My name is Susan. And my name is Callista. We are here to share a story with you entitled, The Little Servant Girl and the Proud General. Listen carefully and you can share with your parents, sisters, brothers, and friends what you learned today about forgiveness and how God can help us to forgive. A little servant girl and the proud general, the little slave girl and Naaman from 2 Kings 5. Naaman was a very important man in a very important army of a very important country. So you see, he was very, very important. But Naaman was sick. He had leprosy, which is a nasty thing that stops you from feeling anything. Bits of you fall without you noticing, like bashed fingers and squished toes. It might sound funny, but it wasn't. And Naaman certainly was not laughing. There was no cure. It never went away, and in the end it killed you. Naaman needed help. Now there's a little slave girl who worked for Naaman, and she knew someone who could help him. But there was a problem. Naaman was her enemy. Not long before, Naaman had led an army raid in her home in Israel. He had killed her whole family, carried her off to Syria, and made her into a slave. Every night she cried herself to sleep. She had lost everything. Why would she, of all people, want to help Naaman? Didn't she hate him and want to hurt him back? Didn't she want to make him pay for the wrong he'd done? That's what you would expect, but instead of hating him, she loved him. Instead of hurting him, she forgave him. I want Naaman to get well, she said to her mistress. There's a man in Israel called Elijah who can heal him. I'll go, said Naaman, loading up his wagons and putting on his flashing armor. But I'll go to the place because that's where someone important like me gets healed. So he hurried off to Israel and went straight to the king. My healing, please, he announced. I can do lots of things, the king replied, but only God can heal. Just then a message from Elijah arrived. Send Naaman here, it read. So Naaman hurried off to Elijah's house. But Elijah didn't even come out and greet him. He just sent a servant instead. Doesn't Elijah realize who I am, Naaman thought? But when the servant said, well, what the servant said next made him even crosser. Wash in there, he said. Just wash, Naaman laughed, in that slimy, stinky river. He looked around to see if this was some kind of joke. It wasn't. Any person can wash in a river, he thought. I am Naaman. I am important. I should do something important so God will heal me. And he rode off in a rage. Of course, you and I both know that's not how God does things. All Naaman needed was nothing. It was the one thing Naaman didn't have. God knew that Naaman was even sicker on the inside than he was on the outside. Naaman was proud. He thought he didn't need God. His heart didn't work properly. It couldn't feel anything. God, you see, Naaman had leprosy of the heart. God was not only going to heal Naaman's skin, but he was going to heal his pride. Naaman finally agreed to wash in the river, and instantly his skin became smooth like a baby. Naaman wanted to pay Elijah. God healed you. You can't pay, Elijah said. It's free. And so it was that a very sick man was healed all because of a little servant girl who forgave him. God knew sin was like leprosy. It stopped his children's hearts from working properly, and in the end, it would kill them. Years later, God was going to send another servant to forgive as she did, to forgive all of God's children and heal the terrible sickness in their heart. Their hearts were broken, but God can mend broken hearts. Has anyone you've known ever hurt you at school, a friend? Have you ever had troubles forgiving them? Is it hard to forgive people when we feel that they have hurt us? It was hard in the story for the servant girl to forgive Naaman. So she did with God's help. And she tried to help Naaman. Would that be hard for you? It's hard for all of us. That's why we need God's help. Naaman was sick on the outside and the inside. Why didn't Naaman want to go into the river to be healed? He was so proud. 
Naaman thought he was better than anyone else and didn't need God. But God healed his skin, and God also healed his heart. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for all the children watching today. Help us not to think we are better than others, but instead, help us to see everyone as equal. Help us to forgive those who have hurt us. Thank you, God, that you can mend broken hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.